Hello everyone, this is HG once again and I want to introduce you the 3D Plexus plugin for 3D Studio Max. This what you will see is the presentation of 3D Plexus. Okay, for those of you that didn't know what Plexus is, Plexus is actually a plugin for After Effects that when you have uh, some points or particles in your scene, it will create a line between uh, the points. Uh, depend on the distance between the particles, the lines will be created. So this is a very, very useful effect that can be uh, used in many uh, animations and advertise and other stuff and I am actually a big fan also from the Plexus but as you can see the Plexus in After Effects has some limitations because it's a, in a 3D uh, space but it's actually not 3D Best product placement. for example you can see this uh, sample of Plexus for optimal customer engagement so you want to model the it's looking very beautiful but it's not still 3d so that was when i saw a tutorial from someone that he tried to create the plexus uh, effect in uh, 3d studio max and you can see it's very beautiful and very powerful but the problem was that this was created in this tutorial in with a uh, thinking particle and was a long long way to create it and very complex so and I had no thinking particle so what should I do first I try with a uh, data operator and a PF source but it didn't work with it so then I tried to write my own Plexus uh, plugin which I call it 3D Plexus uh, the way that this uh, 3D Plexus works is so that, for example, in each frame there will be some particles and each particle will calculate its distance from other particles in the scene. And if the distance between of them is in a certain area, the line will, a line will be created. So, for using my script, you just go to the utilities max script and run script and you will uh, have access to this file 3d plexus hg mse when you open it first you have to choose your particle system the particle system must must only be uh, uh, a pf source and not other kind of particle system it will work only with PF source and uh, on here after you select your particle system you have to choose your maximum radius what that means we, we will have a maximum radius and a fade distance, distance. <coughs> for example this is my first uh, let's imagine that this is my uh, first particle and this is my second particle okay if the distance between two of, two of them are more than uh, more than 50 which is in this case here 60 you can see if I go here near I will have a distance of uh, 23 so I will go far away so right now it the distance is more than 50 so if it the distance is more than 50 which I can determine here no line will be created between two these two points but if it's less then we will have a line but the thickness is a matter I say here my maximum thickness is uh, 0.5 so if I am from 0 to 
40. Why I tell you 40 here? Because I have a faith distance of 10. And 50 minus 10 is 40. So if I am in this range, in this circle, my thickness will be 0 0.5. But if I go between these two circles, I mean a distance between 40 and 50. Because more than 50, there will be no line. And less than 40, the thickness will be, there will be a line with the thickness of 0 0.5. But if I am in this area, in this between area, I will have uh, a thickness depend of this uh, distance. For example, here I will have it 0 0.5. And if I go here near the 50, I will, uh, the line get uh, thinner and thinner until it will disappear. So that is how it works. And because the lines are just simple, some cylinders, and the height segment is always zero, you can have here, your, you can choose here your size. If I tell, I want to have four sides, so, so will be my lines between these two points. And uh, you can choose smooth, which is the same here. If, for example, if you want to have uh, four sides without smooth, you just didn't check this here. So this is how it will work. So let's uh, open a scene to try to demonstrate it. Okay, I have here just for 20 frames. And what you should know about this plexus is if you want to work with it, your particle system, your PF source, must be the integration step in the viewport and the render must be the same. If you have frame, both of them must be frame. And the viewport uh, quantity uh, and the render quantity must be also the same. For example, 100, 100. Okay. And depend on your uh, timeline that you have here, it's from 0 to 20 the calculation will be that long. If you have, uh, if you have a longer uh, uh, timeline, so and you don't want to use all these frames at all, so make it short before you begin with it. So I will say once again to try. Okay. So here I want to choose my particle system. If you don't choose any and try to run, it will crash. It will tell you a message will be tell you that there is no particle error. I will say my max uh, maximum radius to 50 and my fade fade distance to 25. Size 4 and thickness is 0 0.5. Okay. Now I try to run my plugin. As you can see, there is a bar, <coughs> and when it's finished. I can close this and close also this. I can have the display here to geometry and make it smaller so you can see. So you can see that I have here some line that is created between these points. These lines are simply uh, some uh, this line simply some cylinders. And these cylinders, we will have an animation key in radius, in the height. And if I go here to the filter, current transform, in the position, in the rotation, but not in scale. That is the magic behind this plugin. So if you have, a, if your computer is not a very good computer, I, I tell you it's better to begin with lower amount of particles and not begin with 1000 or 500 or something like this and uh, for example let me show you this this is just the same but for example this took some minutes in my computer to get calculated make this to geometry and make it one or two as you can see, for example here, 
you see there is there are some lines but if the particles try to go away from each other the line disappears I have some line here but here no more so that is how my uh, this plex 3d plexus uh, plugging works this is uh, the first version of my 3 mm, plexus tutorial in the next version I want to try to create also faces between each three points and let me just for example show you my the scene that I used in uh, my uh, uh, presentation for example here you can see just particle system and a lot of lines that are connecting to each other or another one this is scene 4 let me I'll show you you see here so as you can see this is a very 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 powerful uh, plugin and that can uh, give you a lot of opportunities to create a lot of great uh, advertise or animation or whatever you want don't forget this plugin is only available from HG which will give you all for free and uh, you can have it you can enjoy it and you can work with it but if you like it don't forget to subscribe and if you have any comments you are always welcome you will wait for the <coughs> of course for the second version of it I don't know when I will uh, have it finished because right now I am a little bit busy but I will create it one day and you will also have the second version for free from me so don't forget to subscribe if you like it and have a lot of fun with 3D plexus ciao ciao